Oh my goodness, salam alaikum, I'm late. I'm so sorry, I was not paying attention to time and all of a sudden I realize it's 5.20. How did that even happen? Oh my goodness, well, salam alaikum everyone and welcome to a very important day in Ramadan, which is as we're closing up the end of the 24th and heading in to the night of the 25th. It's a very important night, and here at RCC, I'm going to show you why I was running behind schedule. We have with us a lot of guests. We're getting all set up. I'll show you in the other room as well. We're getting all set up because tonight we are hosting a fundraiser for a local organization called the Minnesota Deaf Muslim Community. And it's such a blessed thing to be able to serve and to do this. Look at how great the expansion looks. Look at that. And we're excited for people to be coming. Lots of volunteers. Can <laughs> Lots of volunteers who've been helping to get things going. MashaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless their fundraiser and help them with that work. So I apologize for being late, but that is why I was late. All right, well, welcome to Hadith Ramadan Yomi. And subhanAllah, uh, this is a, I just feel very blessed right now. We are in the end of Ramadan. It's not quite the end yet. And if you feel like you are in a situation where you feel like, oh no, how is it almost over? It's okay, we still have five days, four or five days, something like this. Let me see, today is Saturday. So tomorrow is Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, about five days, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and make it blessed for all of us. For our talk uh, today, I had planned to talk a little bit about zakat al-fitr. So let's talk a little bit about that, just so we make sure that we've had that conversation, so that you're ready for that and, and you make sure to take care of it. So first of all, do I think Laylat al-Qadr has passed? No, I don't think so. We still have the opportunity tonight and the 27th and the 29th. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us all see Laylat al-Qadr. Yes, I'm going to talk about Zakat al-Fitr. So the, um, even though, if we need to make intentions for it, even though our spouse is paying it for us. Okay, now first of all, let's define. So we have two different kinds. There's, we talk about Zakat a lot in Ramadan. And when we say the word Zakat, we have to always be sure of what we're talking about. Are we talking about Zakat al-Mal? Or are we talking about zakat al-fitr? They are very different. And so let's make sure we are all on the same page. Zakat al-mal is the money that you pay yearly upon your wealth. That is your zakat. And so that is if you have a certain amount of money that you've saved all year. Maybe you have investments. Maybe you have a second house. Maybe you have camels. Maybe you have cattle. Maybe you have sheep. Then you have zakat to pay. Zakat al-mal. That's a different talk. I would highly recommend the websites of Joe Bradford. Fantastic help. His, he has lots of different informative blogs that help you understand what you have to do in order to pay zakat al-mal. Ramadan, lots of Muslims pay zakat al-mal in Ramadan because it's a good way to, for them to remember out what they're doing every year. All right? Now, I also, zakat al-mal, and then there's sadaqa. Sadaqa is also different than zakat al-fitr. Sadaqa is the charity that you give. And now is the time. Like, take advantage. SubhanAllah. I want you, the next time you give sadaqa in Ramadan, I want you to sit down and think about your heart. I want you to look at your heart and notice how it feels, and then I want you to give. Give to Rabata. Give to this local uh, deaf organization. Give and give well, and then watch your heart and see how much better your heart feels. But that's sadaqa. It's not zakat al-fitr. Zakat al-fitr is a requirement. We all pay zakat al-fitr. Even if you're a pregnant woman and you pay zakat al-fitr for the baby too, okay? Zakat al-fitr is money paid to purify the fast, not to purify your money. That's zakat al-mal. 
This is money paid to purify the fast. It is a requirement, so everybody must pay it. I read yesterday that people are saying around $15 to $17 this year for Zakat al Fitr. But definitely check with your local masjid. Check with your local masjid. And of course, everybody, in those of you who are in different countries, you are going to have a different Zakat al Fitr because it's based on how much it costs for a, how much a meal costs in your country. Actually, how much a staple costs, sorry. How much staples cost. Now, most people are going to be taking the rakhsa from this Hanafi school and paying cash. That's totally fine, but you want to make sure that you give it to a place that accepts zakat al-fitr. Most masjids accept zakat al-fitr, so probably your local masjid does. We at Rabata do not take zakat al-fitr. We do not have a, a system by which to give it out, and so we do not take zakat al-fitr. Now, zakat al-fitr is uh, money that you're going to pay for your fast. So who pays this? Generally, if you are responsible for people, you pay it for them. So our fathers and our husbands and those who in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are responsible for our financial care, they also pay, uh, they pay zakat al-fitr for us. However, and they are required to do that, However, my recommendation to working women, this is a spiritual recommendation, not fuqah, fuqah, okay? My spiritual recommendation to you is that you pay your own zakat al-fitr. If you are the kind of person who will buy yourself a hamburger or a sandwich or a cup of coffee, then you should pay your zakat al-fitr because it's about purifying your own fast. So even if your husband is paying it, pay another one for yourself. That's my recommendation. Um, and I saw another question earlier that said, please explain more about sadaqa. Can it be given to anyone? Great question. So sadaqa is charity. It's literally money that we give. And yes, it can be given to anyone, but for the reward, you don't want to give it to anyone who's going to, like you wouldn't give it to an organization that's going to use it for haram or to oppress Muslims, for example. So you do want to be, be sure that when you are giving sadaqa, that you're giving it to uplift and help people. Sadaqa does not have to be given only to Muslims, it can be given to anyone, and sadaqa can be considered also a gift. In fact, even if when you are buying things for your home, ladies, that's actually sadaqa for you, especially if you make that intention. But now that the month is almost over, I really want to really encourage you to give sadaqa. My personal experience this month is that sadaqa has really done good things to my heart. So I really want to encourage you. We have only a few days left. Don't miss the opportunity of sadaqa. Don't miss it. Tonight might be Laylatul Qadr. Imagine giving sadaqa in, uh, on Laylatul Qadr and how that will last for you. Important question, should zakat al-fitr not be given in food rather than money? Correct. So Sarah Connor asked that question. That is correct based on um, the most of the madahib. However, because it's difficult, it must be then given as a staple. But because that is difficult for many people to find someone and give it to them, there is a rakhsa that you can take to give it in cash. And, but make sure to give it to someone who takes it so that they're giving it to the right people. Does Rabata accept zakat al-mal? Yes, we do. Uh, you can give it at rabata.kindful.com. But make sure that you choose the zakat campaign. We keep all zakat money separate from any other sadaqa and any other money. It does not go together, so you must give it in the right place because otherwise it will go to the wrong place. And uh, so go to the rabata.kindful.com and choose the zakat campaign. And yes, we too take, take zakat. And what we do with zakat is we are a conduit. So we take it and we give it to Muslim women in need, uh, especially 90% of the people who receive zakat from us are Muslim converts. And so, yes, that's called our Rabata Care Program. And it's kept separate from all the other money. We do ask that you consider us for your end of Ramadan sadaqah, for your, your, your good donations, your big donations. If you are looking around, if you were making dua last night and saying, Ya Allah, where should I give my sadaqah? 
where should I put a lot of money where I can have Sadaqa Jariya for the future? I really recommend that you do that with us at Rabata at launchgood.com forward slash Rabata. We're working really hard to support our community. We're working really hard to uplift women. We're working really hard to build a legacy. And we need you. We need you to help us do that. And I know, I know that I have heard from so many of our donors of the blessing when they give of the blessing that comes to them. Back to Zakat al-Fitr. When is the time to pay Zakat al-Fitr? Great question. Should have mentioned it. Can we do it any time in Ramadan? Yes, you can do it any time in Ramadan. It's sunnah to do it right before the Eid prayer. And if you wait till after the Eid prayer without excuse, that's not good. That's how, you should not do that without excuse. You should not wait till after the Eid prayer. You should give Zakat al-Fitr early and quickly. So that's why I'm talking about it today. If you're worried you're going to forget or you're thinking, oh no, what if I sleep through the Eid prayer? Then give your Zakat al-Fitr early so that that can get out and you've fulfilled that duty. Okay? Whew. All right, I talked really fast. So let's talk for a minute about the spiritual implications of Zakat al-Fitr. The... Yes, our is, is rabata.org. You can see us at rabata.org or you can go to launchgood.com forward slash rabata. One of uh, somebody here will put those in the chat. Uh, I want to talk about the spiritual implications of Zakat al Fitr. So we are fasting and we're doing our best. And I'm, I'm sure that you're doing your best. And last night, there were the beautiful verses in the juz that we read yesterday, reminding the believer, لا تقنت من رحمة الله. Don't despair of the mercy of Allah. And we talked about how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the merciful and the forgiving. And I, I just really want to, I want to just emphasize to you that in our, that the spiritual aspect of giving zakat al-fitr is part of Allah's mercy. That we give zakat al-fitr in order to make up for the little mistakes, the, the distractions, the, all these different kinds of things. That's why we're giving it. We're giving zakat al-fitr because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy is here to take care of us and to fill us and to calm that heart. So yes, you can give it at any time. Make sure that you're giving it. And you're remembering as you give it, not just the duty. Don't just say, okay, this is my duty. Although that's good. But also say to yourself, I am purifying my fast. So Allah will accept me this month. Inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept us all. And uplift all of us. I've been making so much dua for the Muslim Ummah this month. Ya Allah, so much dua for the Muslim Ummah. And I really, I'm sure, I feel confident that all of our dua, inshallah, is going to be answered. Is there any harm in giving zakat al-fitr twice? No, there's no harm. But zakat al-fitr is not about supporting. So the second part of your question is, is if there are two things we want to support. I suggest you give sadaqa. Give sadaqa to the organizations you want to support. Give sadaqa. Give a lot. Give a lot. Like, make it hurt. I told you earlier that Abadah Evans, he was talking. And he's like, why do people always talk about how it's just as much as you pay for coffee, which we all know it is. If you're paying five bucks a day for coffee, five times seven is 35. 35 times four in a month is 70 times $240. Barely feel it. But he said, why should it be like that? We should feel sadaqa so that our heart is opened. Give sadaqa with the intention that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives you and elevates you and helps you with what you need help with. And give a lot. We only have five days left. Allah will send. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send. I'm going to tell you a fun story. There's a story of Rabi al-Adawiyya, who she had one loaf of bread. No, I say loaf, I just mean like one pita, one flat loaf. And she had a guest and she wanted to feed her and she said, this isn't enough. So she gave it in sadaqah. She gave it in charity. This is the kind of yaqeen that we want. She gave it in charity. Because she knew that Allah returns charity with times 10, at least. It's Ramadan now, so it's much more than that. We once had someone give us a huge amount of money, and she said, because I need money, so I'm giving sadaqah because I know Allah's going to give me. SubhanAllah. Anyway, so pretty soon a young gal knocked at her door, and she said, I've, uh, so-and-so sent me with bread for you. And Rabia said, well, how many loaves do you have? She said, nine. So, well, that's not for me. 
you'll have to give it to somebody else. She said, no, it's for you. I'm sure it's for you. No, it can't be for me. Back and forth. Finally, the Rabia said, listen, it's not for me. I gave a loaf of bread away. Allah always returns in times 10. This is only nine, so it must not be for me. And the gal said, I ate one. <laughs> so that's such a fun story. It's a fun story because it reminds us of the blessing of sadaqah in these last days. You've been fasting, you've been praying, you've been making dhikr, you've been doing Quran. Make sure you're giving sadaqah. I've heard that, um, well, we know for sure that the Muslim ummah is the most generous ummah. And one of the reasons is because of Ramadan, because we know what sadaqah does for us. So I want to really encourage you. Here at the RCC, as I said, we have opened up this space for a local organization. And I don't know if you know, but one of the projects at Rabata is an incubation project. And so what we do is last year we started, we had a program where we invited local nonprofits that were not sustainable, run by women, to come in and take a training. We did this in collaboration with another organization with a grant from Otto Brummer. And we trained uh, the folks. And my, my collaborative friend was Noshina, our lovely Noshina here, Noshina Hussain, who's an amazing woman who's now working on just about to start her PhD in philanthropy, mashallah. And so we trained them all year. Those organizations now, mashallah, they're sustainable, they're doing a great job. And one of them is the Minnesota uh, Deaf Muslim Community. And they are coming here tonight to do their fundraiser. And we've been helping them set up. And it's a special, unique thing because it has to be set up differently. And us in the Muslim community, we're not always paying attention to our deaf brothers and sisters or our blind brothers and sisters. And that's something at Rabata that really matters to us. And we are certified accessible from Mohsen. Yay. Thank you, Mohsen. And we are working hard to do better, to even do better. And we're working on our digital accessibility as well. So alhamdulillah, we're really excited to have them here. And we do hope that the people that come donate to them. And I hope you also donate to them, that you donate to Rabata, launchgood.com forward slash Rabata. Help us because we also help others. <laughs> alhamdulillah. Help us to uplift women and do this work that we've been working, that we work so hard to do. Also, quick reminder, our auction is done tonight. So if you've been eyeing the drum, Oh my goodness, I should totally show you the items. If you've been eyeing the drum or you've been eyeing that super cool food carrier thing that was made in Tajikistan, or maybe you've been eyeing, eyeing the Somali kibbat, the thing that goes on, used to go on the, the walls, that handmade, these are handmade things of women's art. Absolutely beautiful. We also have some experiences available, tea with me, voice lessons from Michelle, our Rebel to Masjid, Allah song, that song that we sing at the end, Dr. Amina is going to teach it to you if you win that bid. We have some hand-painted work from our Imam Fadia. We have other donated artwork as well. It's just a really amazing auction. It's over at 11, I think it's 11.59 tonight. So keep your eye on the prize and go see where you are and bid and support Roboto through your bid. All right, well, I'm sorry I was late today. Have a wonderful day. Larabata.launchgood.com. Nope. Sorry. Nope. Not true. Launchgood.com forward slash Rabata or Rabata.kindful.com. We're looking forward to your support as we support you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to support each other and live in the shelter of one another. And I just realized I might have missed some questions. My apologies. Is it okay to give us a cot in a country we don't live in? It is, some of the schools of thought say that you should give your zakat al-mal to within the distance that you have. If you don't have anyone to give to, then yes, it's fine. And there are other scholars that say it is fine. And looking now. Oh, everybody's helping each other here. Thank you so much for helping one another. There is a misconception that sadaqah is purely for helping the poor. No, you, you give sadaqah to anyone. Sadaqah is money you give that you hope for reward for. That's what sadaqah is. May Allah reward all of us. SubhanAllah. Is the auction on your website? Oh, good question. The auction is 
32, that's the number, 32auctions.com forward slash Robota. If somebody could get drop that link, that'd be great. Oh, mashallah. May Allah reward you all and bless you all. It's been so wonderful to be with, here with you all month. I will be back again tomorrow. Uh, inshallah, I'll be on time tomorrow. Yeah, there had to be one day that I was late. That just makes sense. Alhamdulillah. I didn't miss a day yet, so maybe we still are looking forward to that. But hopefully, I won't miss a day. All right. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Uh, yep. Thank you. 32, 32 auctions. I don't think there's a dot between the 32 and the auctions. It's 32auctions.com forward slash robota for the auctions. And then robota.kindful.com. There you go. And uh, launchgood.com forward slash robota. Those are the links. I'm looking forward to your support. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all and bless you all and open doors for you all and help you all and guide you all and uplift you all and grant you happiness with dunya akhirah. Yalla, assalamu alaikum.